as you can see right here on the monthly chart of Bitcoin, this indicator has pulled off, calling the bottom and the top of Bitcoin since all the way back here in 2015. Okay, look at the price over here, 2015, July, got the green dot there in August. That was August of 2015 at $200. 2015, Bitcoin was two was 250 bucks. Okay, gave you the green dot. It ripped all the way up to 20,000. If you got in on that green dot, congratulations. Okay, but then what came? The red dot. So the red dots are they're typically a sell signal, right? They're they're an indication that the direction is going to the downside. And this indicator doesn't just work on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It also works on stocks like Apple. You could see same kind of thing down here. August 2016, you could have bought Apple at $23 and you were selling, if you sold the first red dot, you sold it up there at like 40. That's a 100% move there. Yes, it did keep going, but you could see throughout time, these pullbacks do happen, okay? And the more capitalized the asset is, obviously the less uh, the move's gonna be. Here's NVIDIA, okay? NVIDIA got a red dot back here on the 22nd. It dropped all the way down here uh, for about a year, okay? From the 20 or, or from January, what was that? January 2022, all the way down to November 2022. Boom, green dot came there in December at $13. Look where it's trading at today, 126.46. And actually, at the time of recording this video, it's giving a red dot. So that indicates that the, the direction is going to shift to the downside. So if you're going to use this asset, I recommend using it on a monthly chart. That is the easiest way to pinpoint your entries. You want to buy when the blue wave is down here on the trading indicator, okay? You want to buy when it's down here because that tells you that the momentum has shifted to the downside. And when you're using it on the monthly chart, it is the most accurate signals that you can get from the indicator. Yes, you can use it on a weekly and a daily. We do use those and incorporate those into our trading on this channel. But if you are just getting started and you're just wanting to invest your money and let it grow for a year or two, the monthly chart is the most accurate. So I recommend going through and finding your favorite stocks, your favorite companies. We have watch lists that we build here on uh, the channel as well that we tune into once a week and we take requests as well over inside the Discord. If you're not part of the investing club, there's a link in the description and pinned in the comments. Can we call these signals out? So again, here's Microsoft. Also gave you a green dot back here on February of 2023. The price was $200. It's now trading at 400. Microsoft also has a red dot. So you're actually seeing red dots on NVIDIA and Microsoft and also Google. So Google, we're expecting a pullback, right? We're going to look to buy Google the next time this blue wave comes all the way back down here and gives us a green dot, just like this one back here in 2023. These markets move in cycles, folks. Everybody just thinks stuff goes straight up and down. They move in cycles. So when the wave is up here, when the blue wave is up here on our indicator, we do not want to be buying. Right now, we do not want to be buying Google, okay? Now is a bad, bad time to be buying Google. This is where retail is buying Google, okay? This is where the, the dumb money is getting in. The smart money is getting in down here, okay? The smart money buys when this wave is way down here. The smart money is the trillionaires, the billionaires, okay? All the people that control these markets because these markets are controlled by liquidity. So again, if you don't want to get crushed in the markets, First things first, you have, a, have to have a long-term vision on whatever you're buying. And you want to buy quality names, okay? This one on Alphabet here came back in February 2023. Okay, that thing ripped up. If you would have sold this red dot here, that's 103% on, on your money. Okay, most people are happy with 5% a year. Okay, you're making 100% from here to here. You're taking your profits right here, right now on Google because you're getting the signal just like you got it back here. Okay, that is the strategy, folks, from the monthly. Okay, and you can also use the daily and the weekly. We use those just to reference our entries. Okay, same thing. If, if we have a monthly green dot, first things first, we do not buy an asset unless the dot is green. Okay, we only want to buy assets where the dot is green or it looks like it's about to turn green. For example, this dot came in February. We could have identified, okay, because we, we do this, we could have identified that this wave was going to turn. Okay, that next month. So we actually could have got in in January. Okay, at probably a cheaper price around 80, but the green dot was the confirmation. So once you have the green dot on the monthly, you know we're in a macro uptrend, meaning we're going up over the next coming months. So then you can get on the smaller time frames like the daily and the weekly, and you can pinpoint your entries on these pullbacks, like dollar cost averaging in, right? If it dips all the way down here, if you have money on the sideline, you could buy in. 
or you could be taking profits up here as the trade continues, okay? But as long as the last dot is green on the monthly, we're in a macro trend to the upside. As long as it's red, we're in a macro trend to the downside. So we wanna wait, right? And using the monthly chart, you need to be very, very, very patient. That's why this strategy wins is because we're more patient than everybody else, okay? So when that thing comes back down here, okay, when Google comes back down here, it might be in 2025, it might be in 2026, but that's when you're gonna wanna go invest in Google. So right now, it's just not the greatest time to invest in things like Amazon and Google and Microsoft and Apple. It's actually a good time to be taking profits. The only one that looks decent is Tesla. Okay, Tesla at the time we're recording this video is green on the monthly. So you can see it's on my green list. Okay, if you want, guys wanna add these to your, to your watch list, all you gotta do is click on the flag here. So if it's on the red list, if it's on my red list, that means the last dot is red on the monthly. If it's on my green list, Okay, that means the last dot is green on the monthly. You can see JNJ here just turned green. So I want to watch that. So we're focusing on capitalized stocks. So we're using the screener on, on TradingView to find our find our find what we want to trade, right? If you, you guys need to make your own list of stocks. I actually call out these alerts over in our Discord channel for the names that I follow. And that's on the red list and the... Uh, the green list here. So these are all the names I'm currently watching right now. Why? Because they're all green on the monthly chart. All those names on the red list, okay? These ones are all red, okay? Or they're very overextended. Like look at uh, look at Riot. I mean, Riot's a little ways down there, okay? But look at MSTR here, okay? Big red dot, okay? You do not want to buy MSTR down here. We want to wait for a big pullback like this, okay? These happen over like a year, year and a half. Okay, this was from December 2021 all the way down here to January 2023. So that was about a year it took to correct. Okay, but then what came? Boom, green dot. There was our entry. We are entering on this candle at $20. This thing went all the way up to 200. That's a 10x trade. Okay, 10x on your money, meaning you put in 1,000 down here, you made 10,000 all the way back to the top. If you put in 10 down here, you made 100. If you put in 100 down here, you made, you do the math, a million. Okay. So MSTR, right, red dot, right now is a great time to short. If you guys trade options or, or you know, uh, options contracts, you'd want to trade the opposite direction of MSTR. Maybe there's an ETF or something that's the opposite inverse of it. But um, again, buying when the wave is down here, not up here, okay? The goal is to buy when everybody has been flushed out, when they have just been through a very painful dip, watching their account go from 90 all the way to 15 to 14. We got to be patient using the strategy, okay? And again, it works on the weekly, it works on the daily, it works on the five minute, but it's the most accurate. You can see all the dots coming all the time down here, right? Just dots everywhere, okay? The monthly, they only happen on a yearly basis, okay? This is probably going to go down now. MSTR is probably going to go down for the next year or, or two years. We'll probably be able to buy it down here at the blue line, which is our EMA on our trading indicator. Okay, when that thing comes back down here. So if you guys are new to this trading indicator, you guys can download that by clicking the button or the link somewhere in this description. You guys can get started with it. Okay, my, my biggest advice is just to use the monthly chart at first and time your entries, right? Buy down here and then sell up here. You might have to wait a year or two years for this to happen. These moves normally happen within eight to 12 months, right? This was a year, okay? Now it's February, 2023, you got the buy signal. It is now June 20, or July 2024. So it's a little over a year that this thing is now giving you the sell signal. It gave it right back there in, in June of 2024. And that came in February of 2023. So it's about a year and a half this move took to develop. And now you're getting the sell signal. Okay. So I don't want anything to do with MSTR right now. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to buy it. I don't even want to, I don't even want to look at it. That's why it's on my red list. So every month we get a new candle on the chart. Okay. Every month, which means we can look at this we can look at this list once a month and see what the candle and what the indicator is telling us. In the meantime, right, I'm watching these names on my green list, okay, on the green list here, okay, for pullbacks. Like look for, look at Rivian, for example, okay? Rivian is what? It's green on the monthly, so it's on our watch list. So what we wanna do is we wanna get in either to the daily and buy these pullbacks, right? This is a nice, nice breakout right here on Rivian, actually. This is a beautiful breakout on Rivian. Uh, 1322 would be the stop loss. Okay, you want we want to buy assets that that break out above the nine EMA. That this is Rivian. The nine EMA on the trading indicator is going to be this this uh, orange line here. Okay, and then this light blue line is going to be the 50. 
And then this is going to be the 200. If you guys don't have the trading indicator, again, there's a button or a link on this page that you can click and it will load all of this. It's, this is my preset trading indicator. This is all I use. Okay, I use the EMAs and then this trading indicator down here. You click the button. There's a video on how to download it and how to input it into your trading view account. You can get it for yourself. Okay, and start using it right away. And you guys can experiment with it on different time frames if you want, but I encourage everybody to use it on the monthly chart. If it's not green on the monthly, do not touch it. Okay, you want to make sure you have that monthly confirmation to make sure that the macro direction is in your favor. Okay. If you guys have any questions about this or how to download it, feel free to reach out to me. We have a Discord channel. Again, that link is down in the description below. Uh, you guys can join up. You guys can ask questions. You guys can email me at overkill at overkillinvestingclub dot. I'm sorry, overkill at overkillinvesting.club. Okay, that is the email again, overkill at overkillinvesting.club. That is the support email. Feel free to shoot me an email if you guys have questions about this indicator or questions about the trading process. Again, it works on stocks and cryptocurrencies. Okay, again, just looking for that monthly dot. That is our strategy here on this channel. We're dropping videos every single Wednesday here on YouTube and also on Twitter. Okay, and then clips throughout the week. So if you guys are new, welcome. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you guys got any questions about the trading indicator or are having trouble downloading it, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out. If you guys got any questions, feel free to holler. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.